Hello and welcome to the Reading Zone Book Club. My name is Jennifer Killick, I'm an author and I'm here to talk to you today about my most recent book which is called Crater Lake. Um, it is a creepy horror story with a lot of comedy in it as well. Um, so it's basically about a class of year six children who are going on their school residential trip. Uh, they're going to an activity centre called Crater Lake. It is a brand new centre. No school has been there before. They're the first ones to try it. And it was built at the bottom of a crater that was formed when a meteor hit Earth many, many years ago. So the story is told from the point of view of Lance Barshot. He's our main character. Um, and the story starts as he and his classmates and teachers are on the coach driving into the crater. There's a particularly nasty teacher called Miss Hosh who is the assistant head who is giving them lots of instructions on the coach of how they're meant to behave when they get there. She really does not like Lance. Um, I'm going to read you a bit from the first chapter uh, which is while they are on the coach. The coach lurches at the same time as the driver shouts and the brakes screech. We all fall forward smacking our heads on the seats in front. Miss Hosh stacks it full force and rolls around on the floor. Bags, books and sandwiches fly through the air, landing in sticky piles. Atoll's unicorn pillow gets covered in mayonnaise. One of Jordan's limited edition WWE wrestling cards flies out of an open window and flutters away to freedom. May the force be with you, John Cena, I call as it disappears into the trees. A slice of ham catches in Chetsy's hair, which is especially bad because he's a vegetarian. It's chaos. The coach skids to a stop. What happened? Hosh gasps at the driver. There's someone in the road. Of course, everyone rushes forward trying to see out the front window. Everybody back to your seats! Hosh screams above the noise and she and the other teachers form a human barricade at the front of the coach. I'll call an ambulance, the driver says, grabbing his mobile and stabbing at the buttons. It's one of those old fashioned ones without a touch screen you hardly see anymore. Has anyone got a signal? I have no signal. The teachers all check their phones and shake their heads. Why do we need an ambulance? Chet says. Nobody seems hurt. I don't think it's for us, I say, angling my head as far out of the crack of open window as I can. I think it's for whoever's outside. All I can see is the empty road and nothing but trees for miles around. I press my face to the glass again, so hot it almost burns my skin, at the same time as a bloody hand thumps against the window from the other side. So that is the start to their school trip. They've not even made it to the activity centre yet. Um, the man in the road, the bloodstained man, he's very injured. He tries to warn them not to go on into the crater but he collapses before he can tell them why. Uh, so they do go on to the activity centre. Uh, when they get there, they find things are very, very strange. There's hardly any members of staff. There seems to be some blood spatter um, around. But they say, OK, we're going to stay here tonight because we're in the middle of nowhere. And then tomorrow we'll get up. We'll see what's happening. Um, so they all go to their bedrooms to go to sleep. Uh, the teacher's obviously very sensible. They go to sleep as teachers always are. Some of the children decide to stay up to have snacks and mess around and have a chat. Um, and the children that stay awake at Crater Lake soon realise that if you fall asleep at Crater Lake, when you wake up, you are not human anymore. So Lance and his group of friends, Chets, Katja, Adrian and Big Mac, they have to survive in the crater until the coach comes back for them. They are being hunted by the people who were their classmates and their teachers. And whatever happens, they cannot fall asleep because if they fall asleep, it is game over. It's a fate worse than death. Um, so it's a battle for survival and also a battle to save everybody they know. And it's really fun writing scary stories. Um, I think the important thing to do when you're writing a scary story 
is to make it so that it's believable, make it so that it gives the right amount of scariness, um, but isn't so scary that it's just a horrible read. So with Crater Lake, what I tried to do was I tried to add a lot of humour, a lot of jokes. And also because it's written from Lance's point of view, I think the way that Lance deals with it affects how we feel as readers. Um, so Lance is very logical he's very clear-headed and he's very calm and he's a boy who has some challenges at home that he has to deal with every day he's not good at school in terms of he doesn't do well in tests he's not good at sports he often gets in quite a bit of trouble he finds it hard to concentrate um, which is why the assistant head doesn't like him at all so he's not a boy who has done really well or excelled at anything but in this situation at Crater Lake in this situation where it's up to him to help the people that he cares about, he really, really thrives because all of us, all of us are brilliant at something and we just have to find that thing. So I think the way that Lance deals with these horrible things that are happening, I mean, he's scared, he's scared, but he has so much courage um, and he deals with them so well. I think that helps us as readers to not be too too scared um and the scary parts there's some scary parts and some really gross parts as well and they're fun to write because i think everyone likes being a little bit grossed out sometimes and having those little jump scares and those gasp shuddery moments where you're like oh horrible um and what i like to do when i write those moments is i like to think back to all the books i've ever read and all the movies i've watched and think of those moments where i was really sort of hiding behind that pillow or peeking between my fingers as i watched and those parts that made me scream um, and I think about all of those parts of books and movies and I think about why it is that they scared me or what it is about that moment that made me shudder so much and I try to use that to inspire my own writing. So scary stories always with a bit of humour as well. I like stories that give you everything. They make you laugh, they make you cry, they make you scared. But I like to leave my readers feeling happy, hopefully. So if you do decide to read Crater Lake, I hope you enjoy it. I hope you have fun at the activity centre, but make sure that you don't fall asleep because if you fall asleep, that's it. And actually, that was based on one of my own personal fears because I love sleeping. I love sleeping so much. My perfect day will always involve a nap of some kind. So to me, the thought of not being able to go to sleep is just absolutely horrible. So if you are writing your own story, something you could think about is what's your worst fear? What really scares you? And you can use that to inspire your stories as well. So it's been lovely talking to you and I hope you enjoy Crater Lake. Thank you. Bye.